Well, today it was our intention to go to uh, see uh, the Hurricane Hunters. Uh, they're on their Caribbean tour and they landed at the Aguadilla Airport. And uh, um, I just thought that uh, you know no one else would be interested in it and we'd like get a personalized tour of the, uh, the aircraft. But uh, it seems like uh, half of Puerto Rico is interested in it and mm -hmm. we're in a big <laughs> big long traffic jam we've been that way for 20 minutes or so so uh, I guess it's going to be uh, be interesting maybe this is a bigger thing here in Puerto Rico than than I expected so uh, we'll I guess we'll soon see right over here you can see is the uh, the Aguadilla Airport and uh, the big uh, the big line of traffic here on the park so it's more than just a little little tour of the uh, the aircraft bunch of buses and everything here too holy heck must be some big event that we uh, just weren't uh, weren't prepared for so stick around let's see what happens the rest of the afternoon yeah, this is just uh, like crazy to me let's see all these people I mean, even a bunch of buses people came here I can't wait to see what's uh, what uh, so interesting about this is of course this is an island that has been severely impacted by multiple hurricanes so i guess there is a, a an interest in hurricanes here so We're in the parking lot finally getting close to where the hurricane chasers are and we see that it's actually a whole festival in the distance you can see the plane and heavy duty ass plane a whole bunch of tents It seems to be quite the uh, big occasion, so on, where do we go? Well, it's uh, more than just a plane. Yeah, I think we're going to have some lunch here too, listen to some music. Oh look, it's the Puerto Rico Tourism Company here. Yeah, wow. And the, uh, the police brought their, uh, their emergency management uh, command unit here. It's a big thing. Well, that must be the food over there for the tourism people, not for us. Here's the entryway. This is quite the event. Yeah, it's not even that bad actually. Well, maybe it is. I spoke too soon. You're not looking at it. Yeah, you're right. And here it is, the star of the show. Uh oh, have to go through Securidad. 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 All right. So they keep the people in line in the shade. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right, we made it through security. Now we're going to get into the big massive line for the star of the show. Wow. Incredible. And the line just keeps going on and on and on. With a sound truck, can't have two small speakers. back here somewhere and here is the line it goes around and 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 there you can see the tail of the hurricane hunter i 
I'm not sure. Yeah, there's my buddy's boat here. Swan vehicle. Big showcase for the uh, Civil Air Patrol here. Even a little line to get in their little plane. Okay, and, and the Air National Guard. Trying to recruit people. Got the Yanyasco showing off uh, their stuff. I right, guess the Air National Guard showing off their stuff here. Sign up, sign up. Emergency vehicles here from San Sebastian. Humvees, police. No. No. Okay, see uh, the rescue people from San Sebastian. And more heavy equipment here from San Sebastian. I don't know what these are. Dump trucks. Who knows what they are. I don't know why. why did they have these exactly. I don't know why the police would need these. But interesting. The boat. The boat. The boat's cool. It's a rescue boat there. Oh, you know why they need these? Oh, to tow their boats. Oh no, I was thinking that to bring people also fuel when there's a hurricane. Oh, issue. maybe, so maybe, like yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. To tow their tow their boats around. Bring people Customs and Border Patrol at their booth here. Group of people. We see them all the time. Okay, may are sort of way up to the front of the line. Not really. It's still a long way, still a long way to the plane. Holy heck. There it is. Closest we're gonna get. So, well, Lisa, what do you think about your, the, uh, the Hurricane Hunter aircraft? Well, I was expecting more, quite frankly. Well, actually, I was expecting less. I was expecting way fewer people. I was almost expecting to have like a personalized tour of the thing because uh, no one knew about it. Yeah. Like, uh, obviously, uh, half of Puerto Rico knew about it and coming here, and uh, obviously, it's of great interest to them. Well, and, and because this actually turned out to be a tour, uh, I mean, a big fair about all the fire safety and rescue organizations in Western Puerto Rico. So I think that's really interesting for people who live here. There were kids' activities and stuff kids could go in, but this is definitely the, uh, the main attraction. The main attraction. Yeah. But the line was about a mile long, and it would probably have taken two hours to get into it. Yeah. So we're not doing that today. So we're at say it's 12:15 uh, here. We did not come prepared. There's no food being served here, which is just shocking to me. It's a pretty odd Paraguay guy, but uh, nothing else. So uh, we're gonna go find some lunch and mosey on home. So until next time.
May your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. And for bumps like this, don't forget to come very early. Hasta la vista.